You had six agencies doing the best that they could to get this program operational. And we were ready by Earth Day of 1995. GLOBE was very, very different from anything else that was happening in our educational system. The questions were not so simple, they had to think. That is the point. That is what GLOBE should teach them. How to think, how to think. I was working as a biology teacher for 10 years in school for nurses. During the war, we felt really isolated from the rest of the world. For the first time since World War II, there have been air raids on a major European city, Zagreb. This civil war in the center of Europe is likely to drag on, uprooting thousands of Serbian and Croatian families until one side or both are exhausted. In 1995, it was over practically, but the wounds still were there. Many schools were damaged. There were a lot of refugees. And I remember one student, she was most excellent in all subjects. And I asked her, how come you are so good student and uh, in what conditions are you living in? And she told me, uh, my whole family, it's five of us, we live in one room. And so I want to do some, some benefit for my family. And what I can do, I can learn. I got to be part of the GLOBE program as it was starting off in 1995. You hear a lot about how government doesn't work, right? And how they can never get things done in a short period of time. And to me, this was the total opposite of that perception. You had six agencies, NASA, NOAA, NSF, U.S. Department of State, the EPA, and the Department of Education at the federal level doing the best that they could to get this program operational within a year, which is an amazing feat, right, to do that, to get the infrastructure and the technology was not ubiquitous like it is now. And start off with HTTP. HTTP is in Paul. I mean, you know, there was very few people who knew what to do with computers or the internet and building databases for a type of citizen science program like this that had never been attempted before was amazing. And we were ready. We were ready to hit the ground running by Earth Day of 1995. GLOBE, Global Learning and Observation to Benefit the Environment, is an international environmental education and science partnership. It brings together students, teachers, scientists, and we others. We were among the first countries that joined the globe. That feeling uh, to be recognized, to be part of the world, to cooperate with other countries that uh, treat you as an equal partner, that was very, very important and significant. <laughs> Значи тренут на ти е 16.5. Добра. Мо? Не, лажа, мокра е била. Минимална која? Минимална ти е 10.6. Students respond very well when they do something hands-on, 
when they go out of the classroom, when they do something besides what they are obligated to do. <laughs> Globe was very, very different from anything else that was happening in our educational system. It was so new in the sense of technology, internet, GPS, satellites. I uh, learned some time ago that there are really many students who chose a STEM career uh, after being in Globe. Relativno lago smo pravili na istom principu, znači ovo je prosječni dnevni hod. Znači raz, a ovdje pa hoće pada, znači ovdje biste praktički već... U biti prvi put čuo za glob još u osnovnoj školi. Kao učenik osjećao sam možda neko veće uzbuđenje u smislu otkrića i istraživanja. I upravo ta istraživanja, kao što sam rekao, su me navjela na upis fakulteta geofizičkih znanosti. Eto, igram slučaja u istu školu koju sam pohađao. I sad sam... Od Globe učenika postao Globe teacher. Također imam uspuđenje i nekako zadovoljstvo, ali svako njihovo i ponekad razočarenje u nekom projektu kada to sve ne ide pa ispravljanje donosi jedno veliko zadovoljstvo meni kao nastavniku i voditelju Globe programa. Moj prvijest interest u Globe je na 7th grade when our friend gathers and starting doing hydrology uh, protocols. So I get the opportunity to be scientist at a very early age. And uh, this was a revolution for me. It was great. So I started uh, to work at the National Weather Institute, where we were also GLOBE mentors. And we have uh, lots of GLOBE students coming to the Weather Institute to learn uh, more about atmosphere. I will just help you. Here I can help you just a little bit so you can see how it looks. Here are these shrapnels from the water. How much is the temperature? Who is on 2 and who is on 20? On which side? The students are very interested in how they can make the world better. You shouldn't scare young people with a very black future. But instead of that, they should think and use their thinking potential how to solve the problem, what to do. I am very proud because I contributed to that feeling of friendship among GLOBE teachers and GLOBE schools. It should make you open, open to understand different cultures and different approaches to life. I think that uh, this really contributes to be the citizens of the world.